In this video, we will look at Velixo's project forecast writeback functionality and how this ties into the Acumatica project forecasting screens. Before we look at my Excel spreadsheet, let's head to Acumatica and open the project screen. If you have the project forecasting feature enabled from any project, you can click this button here and select project budget forecast. This will bring up a screen that lets you look at all the different forecast revisions for the selected project. As you can see, I have about eight uh, different forecasts for this project. So for each forecast, you will see a set of rows showing uh, the quantity and the amount for each task, account group, inventory item, cost code, and financial period. You can take any given forecast and make this the project budget. So there's a feature from the project forecasting screen that lets you uh, update the project budget line. Actually, it's not in this button, but instead it's in the toolbar here. So if you make any changes and that is your like current uh, project budget, you can take that forecast and make it the official project budget. Uh, the project budget forecast screen in Acumatica has some shortcomings. And the main one is that it's very difficult uh, or actually uh, very time consuming to add data if you have a large number of uh, account groups, tasks, or if you need to forecast for a large number of financial periods. Uh, we have a client, for example, that needs to forecast five years out. And if they were to use Acumatica, the Acumatica entry screen to do that, uh, they would need to go through each uh, task, account group, inventory ID combination click add period and then enter the amounts and repeat for each and every combination that they need to forecast. So that's very time consuming and thanks to Velixo and the flexibility of Excel, we've been able to offer a much more flexible and much more powerful way of preparing these forecasts and then allowing users to push the forecast back to Acumatica. Uh, Acumatica is your central system of record, so we do not want Excel to become a database. Rather, we are just using Excel for modeling and for analyzing the data that you have in your ERP system. So what I have opened is the Project Forecast Builder Sample. It's something that I built from a, a real life report that uh, we, we designed for one of our clients. Right now, this file is linked to the Acumatica Construction Edition Sample Database, but this could work with any Acumatica database. As you can see, uh, my sheet is listing uh, six different projects. So these are all projects that are currently assigned to one of my project managers, John. If I change John to Joe here, the list of project updates, so this is because we're using the GI function, generate inquiry and filtering based on the project manager. The idea behind this workbook is that you can take uh, one or more project and then generate a forecast sheet. So the project manager would open this, look at all his active projects and decide which ones need to be forecasted. So they would just select the projects here. So let's take, uh, let's say uh, this one here, 1003 restaurant, create a forecast sheet. And the system will take the template. Right now it says template quantity copy it and generate a new sheet for that project. Okay, so just give it a second. It's still loading and working. All done, okay? So let's open. You can see it says Italian restaurant. We have a list of all the different tasks and account group for this project. So that's basically the same thing that you would see by going to the project in Acumatica. So let's go there and have both side by side, so 1003 restaurant. And then under cost budget, we have pretty, pretty much the same lines here. So what I want to do now is, is use Excel to forecast, but this time instead of having a project, a global project budget, I want to forecast for each financial period. Uh, as I was saying earlier, we set this up by uh, creating templates. So I have two types of templates for my forecasting need. One forecast is, is done by quantity and the other, the other one by amount. 
So we did that actually to meet one of, of our customer requirements, but also to illustrate that uh, you can do forecasting differently based on the project. If you are planting trees and you just need to forecast the number of trees that you will be planting, well, a simple template by quantity makes sense. Like nobody is going to say, oh, I'm going to uh, just plant, uh, uh, let's say like $6,534 uh, worth of trees. I'm just going to, to plant, let's say, uh, 675 trees next month. If you're uh, forecasting machinery, well, you might be calculating in dollars. So you have this flexibility and that's how we set up this particular workbook. So what you end up with is a spreadsheet with all the different tasks and account group. And then you have a set of columns for all the financial periods that are in your forecasting horizon. Uh, you not only see the current forecast, but also the actual. So if you have actuals, well, you can look at them and then use that to, let's say, forecast next month. If you have the same capacity, you planted uh, 600 trees last month, well, you're probably not going to be able to do 2,000 this month. So it's helpful to have the actuals next to your forecast when building this, okay? So let's make changes to these forecasts and, and see how easy it is to update that and push the new data to Acumatica. Um, so unfortunately, my file ends in September, so that's how I set it up. But let's, you know, let's use September, even though we're already in December. Uh, this one forecast by quantity. So I'll say that uh, here, uh, in terms of labor for task one, I will be working uh, 65 hours in September. Um, and you already have a dollar amount that showed up. And that's because we set up the f uh, we set up this particular template to just take the unit price from the contract and multiply it by the quantity that I just entered. So it is using the actual contract amount. And then uh, from the quantity that I enter, it is calculating the forecast in dollars as well. So it's not just uh, taking my quantity as the input. Sorry, my, my chair is moving. The, the floor is not completely flat where I am, but I will try to stay uh, centered to the camera. So I just entered my quantity here. Uh, let's forecast another month to here, 15 hours. Um, notice that we also have calculations here. So we have total, so what has been forecasted so far, what are my actuals, and what's remaining to forecast. Remaining to forecast is simply uh, contract minus actuals or forecasted actuals. So this is what gets displayed here. So you make changes and then when you are ready to, to push this back to Acumatica, okay, you could be updating uh, multiple lines. So let's take here labor for concrete. So let's just type 35 hours here, 35 hours here. So we have more data too. So when you're ready, you just tick perform write back. This will look at the updated data and it will send the appropriate uh, web service API calls to Acumatica to update this data, okay? Everything is logged. So if you have auditing turned on, it will show in the audit. Um, if you have permission set up so that only uh, project managers are able to update these forecasts, well, the same restrictions will be applied because with Velixo, you are always logging using your Acumatica username and passwords, okay? So uh, there's one more thing that I wanted to uh, show you, and uh, it is something new that we're coming up in the next version of Velixo called Generic Writeback. And with Generic Writeback, it will become possible to update absolutely anything in your uh, Acumatica system. So a good example could be project dates. So if you want to adjust the start and end dates for some of these tasks, well, you will be able to do that. Uh, the key is a new function that we're adding called writeback. And writeback lets you specify any Acumatica screen, any import scenario, and then you can set up data. So let's say I want to change my date years to 2021, 10, 16. I can change that and it will show that something here needs to be uh, push to Acumatica, so next time I click perform right back, it will update the dates for the selected task. If you want to get to Acumatica to see the updated data, you can do that very easily as always, just click view in Acumatica. So actually let's do it from the other project here that we did update. So I will open my revision and we will be able to see for August and September, 
the 15 and 65 hours here so that was zero one labor yes 15 and 65 hours and the same amount that we entered if you have any questions on Vilexo or project forecasting right back do not hesitate to reach out to us just go to help.vilexo.com uh, there's a chat widget so you can ask any questions so this is monitored by the Velixo team uh, I, I may be the one answering you but otherwise we have a team uh, of uh, Velixo uh, professionals that uh, will be uh, able to help you thank you